What the fuck is going on, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> Today is uh, October 15, 2017. We're here at uh, the OTW Arena, aka uh, AKO, aka uh, Kevin Hall Memorial, Kevin Hogan Memorial Hall. We start this whole fucking thing. Nah, we'll just keep going, man. We let it roll, dude. It's, right. uh, yeah. We're here All for right. the Bulldozer Bash, man. Benefit show to benefit him. Thank you, Matt. <clears throat> Thank you, Matt, as always, man. You know. One of the biggest deathmatch wrestlers of all time, you know, OPW, H2O. He just came out back from Japan. Even before he even went out there, he had hospital bills. and he's got even more hospital bills. So today, you know, it's about him. Jeff Cannibal and his wife, he put, put this show together for him. And uh, the, the card is stacked. The dude. card's like, great. For a benefit show, this card is stacked. It's, it's a random Sunday, 2, 2 yeah. p.m. Sunday, a little after 2. We're here, man. So, you know, it's going to be a good-ass show, man. Death matches for a benefit show. That is the shit. And uh, Stolfer got me here. We wanted to get here earlier, but uh, I don't know. What, what the hell were you doing? I mean, at least we slept in until like 11, and then we decided to go get uh, soup. Then we decided not to get soup, and then we went to the mall. <laughs> I had to get shoelaces what for my shoes. What kind of soup did you get? A cre uh, we were going to get cream of turkey <coughs> cream of turkey soup from the best diner ever, Point Forty. <laughs> Shout out to Point Forty. I should get a free uh, meal for this because it might have some views. Uh, but, yeah, seriously, this is the best cream of turkey soup ever. It's only on Sundays, and it's like a tradition. And we decided not, not even to go. So she had a pizza. She had a pizza in, like in the mall, and I had like master walk in the mall. <laughs> did, did you poop yet though today? No, not yet. So uh, I might get that on film. You're gonna be using that one bathroom in here, yeah. right? I got baby wipes. Yo, I got baby, wipes. Woods, Yo, I got baby wipes in my book. I got baby wipes in my book bag. I'd rather prefer shitting in the woods than shitting anywhere in public. I got baby wipes for you. All right, so awesome. you let me know. I'm, I'm, I got you. I don't need wipes. Just give me sock. I gotta retire a sock. I don't wear socks, man. I got socks on. I got actually shoes on tonight. I never wear shoes. I'm wearing yeah, shoes yeah, today, yeah, man. You are. These are shoes <laughs> from my boy's sandals. wedding, and the Natty Light hat is from his wedding, man. My boy's wedding. So, you know, I'm, I'm styling today. But, uh, all right, we're gonna get in there because the show's gonna start probably in like five, ten minutes. And, uh, yeah, here we are. Yes, sir. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> You're on, Jimmy. This technically is a goodwill and testament. This, may, this is for my match. I'm wrestling DJ Hyde. I'm dumb as shit. DJ Hyde, the owner of CZW Combat Zone Wrestling. I call him David. David. <laughs> I've heard a lot of worse names. <laughs> he's a general he's, guy that likes Disney. <laughs> he's a, yeah, he does like Disney. He does, him and his wife go to Disney a lot, don't they? This guy to ever give me a concussion that's been to the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Everyone else has given me a concussion, never been to the Magic do, Kingdom. Do you think you have any chance against him tonight? No. No. No, this is... Oh, like, don't put yourself down, man. I, I see you taking him. Have you seen DJ? He's got hands with, like... Better like the size of Fred Flintstone's head. Well, his head's big enough as it is, man. He's got a big ass fucking head. DJ's gonna fuck me in the butt. If he head, if he head butts you, you're done. <laughs> yeah, that's a distinct possibility. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, so anyways, hopefully one of these numerous things uh, I can throw at DJ. In your in your shopping cart of uh, the uh, what is that thing called? A plow? What's that? What are those things called again? People always search for them uh, on the pallet. internet. Pallet. They build shit with pallets. He's gonna use it to fuck DJ up, or he's gonna use it to fuck you up. He's probably gonna bend me over and actually fuck me tonight. So just so you know, like he's going to spread my asshole apart and you know, give me the lariat. I'll be cheering him on. <laughs> so I'm not gonna say too much because we're all here for the same reason. Pretty much. We all know why we're here. Uh, Matt fell on some hard times and, and we wanted to do something to give back because Matt's given not only you guys a lot in the form of entertainment, but he's given me a lot. Uh, I haven't learned more from anybody than I have Matt. Um, so when this happened, uh, where's Dan and Heather somewhere? Dan and Heather Funkenstein, I don't know where they went. Back there. Back there, okay. Uh, they, came, they actually came up with this idea, they pitched it to me and I was all about it to help out. Um, I'm not going to say too much, so let's bring out the man of the hour, Matt Tremont. I just want to say real quick before you talk, Matt, that's probably the first time I've stood in the ring. 
and heard that song and knew I wasn't going to get my ass kicked. So thank you for that, too. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Uh, I will make it long winded. It's a Sunday afternoon. But, uh, everybody that's here uh, means a lot to take time out of your day to come out here and, and help the wife and I out. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, y'all know everything I do in here is for each and every one of you guys, whether I'm wrestling or promoting. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for everything. Thank you, Matt! 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 There's a, a whole list of people. That, that entire locker room back there is, is are my brothers, uh, is my family, uh, the men and women, everybody back there. I know personally, have worked with, and I love each and every one of them to death. I love each and every one of you guys so much. Um, but I also want to say thank you to Funkenstein and Cannonball and everybody that put this together. Jim, for letting them do this shindig here today. Um, I'm in this building a lot. I got a lot of history in this building for On Point and H2O. Um, and, you know, as my, my future now is you know, more of a promoter role, and I, I really enjoy promoting and, and putting on H2O, so I hope to see a lot of you guys this Friday. Yeah. Good luck. Woo! Uh, but on the flyer, it says bulldozers. It's plural for two people. Uh, it's not just me. It's that lady right there, Christy. time I've been in the hospital, God knows how many times now, uh, she is the one always there right by my side, not sleeping, staying up wee hours in the morning, she ne never leaves my side and makes sure I'm, I'm okay. Uh, when I was in there in August, you know, almost losing my arm and not knowing what the hell was going on, you know, not only was she there every night making sure I'm getting fed and getting taken care of and arguing with doctors, so at the end of the day, she's the boss, I'm not. <laughs> um, but she's always there for me, and I wouldn't have not been able to do all the things I've been able to do in 11 years in this great sport if it wasn't for her. They say, you know, every man's got a strong woman behind him, and without her, I probably wouldn't be standing here. And, you know, all the things I've been able to do in this business, uh, I wouldn't have been able to do for her, and I love you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna retire today. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I got a little bit more left in the tank. A uh, lot of exciting things, you know, coming up in the future. CZW, everybody. Um, again, to everybody in the back and all you guys here today. Um, again, taking the time out to come out here, uh, you know, and to help us out, and it, and it will. And I, I really, really appreciate it. You know, I'm not one to ever ask for handouts. I take pride in being a responsible adult. And, and, and providing for me and little Sullivan, our dog. And, you know, I take pride in, you know, not having to you know, ask anybody for help. And I don't, I don't like doing that. But everybody, you know, stepped up and wanted to help me out. And, you know, again, from the bottom of my heart, I really, really appreciate it. Um, there's eight matches on the card with some of the best guys in the business today from CZW, OPW, H2O, GCW. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to head over there, do some commentary. And we got eight matches. Yeah. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! So once again, thank you. Let's keep the action going. Be loud and give these guys all you got because they took the time out of their day to come out here and do this for me and for all of you guys. Again, thank you. Let's have some fun and watch some goddamn wrestling. Thank you, guys. Yeah, baby. Bulldozer. 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 Bulldozer.
ladies and gentlemen, your winner by a submission. Back up, back up. Okay. Back up, back up. Oh, back up. 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 Back up
fuck him up. Ah, oh, bullshit. Come on, man. Here is your winner by pinfall, Mr. Claxton. You blame it on the ref. Damn it, fuck. Fuck, I'm to you up, man. Come on. Thank you, Devin! That's some bullshit. Papa Giorgio cost him that match. Introducing first, from the Jersey Shore, this is the real Good song. Boogie rags almost got hit. 
Oh, you almost got hit by that one, sir. <laughs> and don't forget to get your hot sauce at intermission. <laughs> got shit going on over here. We got shit going over here. And all four of the female contenders have taken it to the outside. Oh, yes. oh, my God. oh shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Chairs and bounce houses. We got everything tonight. Skull fuck her. All hell has broken loose. No, no, no. Is she hit Amy there? That does not look good for me. Uh oh. Kick her in the clit, Amy. Yeah! Amy Lee! Amy Lee! Amy Lee! No! That a girl ain't posted. Uh, Everything I said, I, that was, it was a joke. I don't know. She kicked her in the clip when I asked her to. That was very awesome. <laughs> You're too bossy, man. I know. I can't help it. I'm the least controlling person ever. <laughs> Amy Lee gives the fans what they want, and don't the photographers, tell, the videographers. Don't ever tell her to do something to me. Please. That was all kick loud on the dick. <laughs> Trima, it's fucking pandemonium. I don't know what's going on. I'm glad I'm Amy not Lee, King Marie, and Manic in the clip. This is insanity. I don't feel safe at all. Oh! I don't know what the fuck's going on. There's so much going on. I can't keep up. Stompers every land.
may be fat, she may be curly, but you two cocksuckers just got your asses kicked by a member of the AARP. Suck my left eye already. Make a right one jealous. You bitches suck more than I do my husband's balls. Thank you, girls. That was awesome. <laughs> Where's your weave? Weave, 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 weave. Where is it? Yeah! We've come back. 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 I freaking love you guys. That was awesome. I'm glad that gentleman got his wig back. We've come we've back. We've the best we've line now. Back. Thank God that Let's gentleman got our first half made a bet, and it is important. <laughs> Maria, we love you. Three you know, reasons. One. We love you. Both gentlemen in this match. That was awesome. That was awesome. Our death. <laughs> Gus and Fleet, high pay deathmatch up next, man. Jeff Cannibal, no life, Louis Ramos. I love both these men. Welcome back, Louis. We fucking missed you, dude. We love you. Introducing first, Kelly from New Bridge, New Jersey, weighing in this afternoon at a spelt 330 pounds. He is the last to die. This is Jeff Cannonball. Oh, man, I fucking love you, dude. This is probably the dumbest idea I've ever had. Ah. I picked this. That's why we love you, Jeff. Oh, no, Come on! Yeah! Woo! Louis! 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 And his
Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Been busted over. 
It's sharp. <laughs> Jeff Cannibal is bringing out something. What else has he got? What you got in there, Jeff? More gusset plates. <laughs> oh, shit. He's going to shove that up his ass. <laughs> oh! Beat him with that dildo. Uh-oh, here comes some headbutts. Jeff is like completely busted the fuck open right now. Oh god, I hate headbutts. You and me both. Jeff's coming over here for some more gusset plates. Jeff and Louie are both bleeding. Right Were you expecting anything other than that? Back there. No, I'm scared to find out. Oh. You and me both, Lyle. I'd never know what the fuck. Oh, my God. Is that a dildo board? There is a dildo attached to that board. Oh man. I'm fucking with this 
guy. <laughs> he loves the car. Oh! Dildo board! Dildo board! <laughs> On the board. <laughs> VCR. You see that shirt hanging right there that just came off Jeff Cannonball's back, covered in Jeff Cannonball's 
very own blood, and the one that Low Life Louie wore to the back. Get in the raffle to benefit the bulldozers. Those two shirts cause, can go home with you. I don't know what the hell I would do with them, but we'll think of something. Them, a $50 Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore right? certificate, a copy of an FMW magazine featuring intermission. Hey. Get some concessions. Are you okay? Business yeah, right. friends at Hogan's Collectibles. We will clean this stuff up okay, and good. be back with the second half. All right, Lou, man, how's it feel to be back? There is, there is no retirement for Deathmatch Warriors. Well, not for you, the man, word, not for you. You're a fucking warrior, forever. dude. And I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it on TJ's blog right now. Schlack and Low Life Louie would be the fucking craziest deathmatch that has ever been seen. Schlack. I'm calling you out, brother. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Answer the call, brother Schlack! Answer it, please. I beg you. I'm on my knees. I'm on my knees. Schlack, answer the call, brother. Answer it! You have never faced anybody like me. Because when I'm hungry, I'm dangerous. Answer the call! Answer it, Schlack! As you know the man answer Schlack is, you don't even have to go to your knees. You know he's going to answer oh, that. Yeah, I know. You know he's going to accept God, that challenge. Bring it. See the blood that I spilled here? It's minimal. Slack. Bring it. I'll lose half the blood pumping in my body. You and me. One on one. Any build. There is no building that could withstand and hold that match, brother. None. Let me go get a four local now. I'm thirsty. Lou, so wait, <laughs> you also got to give that shirt out for the, the no, benefit yeah. tonight, this man. Shirt is, hey. This shirt is 100% of the proceeds of this shirt. Go to Matt and the Bulldozer Bash. Uh, I had a few made of these. Now, you know, so whatever this fetches, it all goes to the tree mods. Thank you. If I could afford one of those, I'd be rocking out every oh, time, oh, man. Talk to me. Talk to me. I love you, Louie, man. Love Thank you. All right, Jeff, first of all, I just want to say thank you. This is awesome what you did for Matt Truma tonight. And, of course, your, your lovely lady over here. Not even Logan. <laughs> no, seriously, it was awesome what you guys did. And the show has been amazing so far. A benefit show, and it's, 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 it's nothing like any other. It's just like any other regular wrestling show that we see here. It's yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. awesome. It's, uh, I'm not going to lie, like, I don't book shows, so I was beyond nervous. And then... Uh, I'm still a little nervous, actually. Once it's over, I'll be happy. But I'm just glad we can come together and give Tremont a little bit of money. Um, I don't know. I can't complain. You did an excellent job, and the match you just had with Louie was just it was fucking awesome, man. Like I just told you, I said it's a tall up night now. It's a favorite. But, of course, we still got, like, what, like four more matches or so to go? Four more. It's a toss-up between your, your match with Louie or your or your wifey. Right, right. The ladies, you know, that, that match was awesome, man. I only got to watch the very end. I was just like... Damn. Oh, they went all the out, man. Awesome. Oh, was like, it was, sick, it was so. awesome, man. But it's always a pleasure getting there with Louie, too. He said I bring the best out of him. I think he brings the best out of me, too. You do. You, you bring the, both, the best out of both of you guys, man. We have, awesome. we have a good chemistry. Nice. You do. Well, I don't want to hold you up too long, man. But Thank you for coming out. Thank you for doing this, as always. Anytime, dude. Three miles down the road. So I'll, yeah, always, right, right. I'll always be here, dude. I'll always be here. I look forward to it. I look forward to seeing you. So, And then I look forward to watching I'll have this later. over to you by Monday, man. You'll be able to see it by Monday. Will. Gotcha, brother. I appreciate it. I love you, man. Love you too, Thank man. you. Wait, what happened? You don't need to move your, you don't need to move your car. Why do you need to move your car? So we don't have to keep walking all the way that way. I don't need to. I got my my cooler, my Coca Cola. My Coca Cola. What's that say? I don't remember. Oh, it's, actually, I do know. It says Deathmatch Wrestling or Wrestling Deathmatch. What's on the back? Who made that shirt? No. Uh, no Deathmatch, no life. Junkasai. Uh, who made that shirt? Yeah, and it says it in Japan. Wait, but who made that shirt? I did. No, you did. You did I not. I this too, and I got ripped You off. did not. <laughs> I might have to send you some I heard shots. it was bootlegged online. Yeah, it was bootlegged. It was bootlegged. I freaked out. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, that was my... I made it all like MS Paint. Seriously. I was like, well, what kind of design can I do? I'm like, huh. Read magazines. Kasaika always kept saying, no death match, no life. No death match, no life. I'm like, that's a t-shirt. Ding, ding. And the best part about it, like... What they don't cost that much to make for me. Yeah, but it's nice. For, like, it, you're honored though, because that means they like your style so much that you know it's nice, dude. Hey, I hope somebody bootlegs cat that someday. It's like this bootleg cat that. Weren't they already, weren't they already bootlegged?
Like, they probably, I don't know. I'm sure there's some bootleg cat. Oh, Walmart started selling uh, cat that mask in a way, yeah. But they're fluffy and they're like pillows. It's not the same thing. Yeah, but, that's what it but it looks just like that man. I told so many people. I told so many people that this guy who came out with the cat dad, if he just knew me personally then. Oh, t-shirts. We, we can right still now, make dude. we can still make t-shirt sales and masks next year. But the thing is with that mask though, it's like it's not my my original idea. I tried contacting the person that created it. They don't know who created it. It was some person from a third world country that created it, and it was like some shop sweatshop. Does dude. it matter? No, it doesn't. Like, does it really matter? But it was even in that stupid, uh, that Windows commercial. They had a, their computer commercial and they showed that cat that. Yeah, yeah so that's how popular it came, you, you man. Got, you got royalties from that. No, right? I don't get anything. Nah. It's, it's not a patent mess. If I created it myself, it'd be different, but I didn't. When you're on TV. That's cool, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, everybody you know, see. Like, that's like a Super Bowl commercial. Imagine it was during the Super Bowl. <laughs> if you were during Super Bowl, 14 million, 30 million people would have saw that. At once. You know what I think about though? It's just it makes people smile, so it's all matters to me, dude. It makes me smile. Over a billion people seen it, they all laugh about it. So. If only all the billions of people came But then at least there's yeah. probably one or five percent. Would you, would you have a million dollars, right? Is at that least, math? yeah, if at you, least if, a million. If a million people gave you one penny, would it's, that equal a million it's, dollars? It's not a penny though, it's all. No, yeah, but I'm saying like. It's more, it's, it would be a million Connor. dollars, yeah. If, all right, Trooper though, before we get into this, what the fuck happened with that match, man? It was a. Hardcore match. Yeah, but what the hell, man? It was a roll-up, dude. Like you were <laughs> paying By attention. Which one? Uh, when uh, Connor faked his little injury. Yeah, dude. I wasn't the ref for that match, idiot. Yeah, you were. No, that was Nick no? Papa Giorgio. Oh, uh, that's uh, right. It was uh, Nick Papa Giorgio. That was Giorgio. the other short fuck. I apologize. I've been drinking yeah. natty. Natty. <laughs> And I'm also going on almost 30 hours of no sleep because I had CCW last night. I had to work this morning, and I came right here from work. So, yes. All right. So, go ahead. What's the question? A million. Okay. A, 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 a billion people seen his video, the cap mask dad crib thing. Okay. A billion people saw that. So, if a billion people saw that, and a billion people gave TJ a penny, would that mean that's a million dollars? I don't even know. I'm just trying to. Yeah, that's basically. It's, no, it's more. No, it's, it's not, less than that. It's not a million dollars. It's ten million dollars. Ten million dollars, right? Okay. Because you have to take. All right, you have so one million. billion pennies. All right, no, a billion, so it's a billion pennies. Yeah, a billion pennies, which is point zero one cents. So you're basically going to take the billion, which is that little comma thing. And you're gonna move it over two. So you move it over one, that's a hundred million. Move it over two, it's ten million. Man, if, all, if only it was, dollars. if only if it was like that. You know how much money I would donate ten to mil. everybody? I would like donate everything but a million dollars. It would all be gone. Family, <laughs> friends. Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd make an own. I'd be like, all right, what wrestling company wants to blow up? Here we go. Here's a million dollars. Let's go. <laughs> Let's make yeah. it big. Yeah, like, and the only reason why I know a lot of this shit is because I'm in high school and elementary school. Well, basically throughout school, I was one of the biggest <laughs> math nerds. He said, "Take the decibel, put it over." Whatever. Oh no, he knew his shit. He knew it. Well, thank you for figuring that out for us two dumbasses, because we'll never figure it. Out. Oh, of course, you guys are drinking. Yeah, man, it's not, how many natty is this? All right, you said you weren't reffing that spot, but were you reffing the spot when Amy Lee kicked Maria Mack in the clit? Nope. Damn it! That was hilarious and hot. I missed, I missed it. I, I got it on video. We'll be sharing on Facebook oh, tonight or tomorrow. Oh, yes. Shit's hot. I want to watch that. <laughs> Here with Amy Lee. Amy, did you hear me when I said, kick Maria Manic in the clip? I kicked her in her yes. fucking oversized clip dick. <laughs> did that shit. It's so funny. I was really yelling at you. You just did it. That's why I, fuck, I fucking love you. That is like the we coolest thing to, yeah, ever. We're supposed to take care of the fucking fans. We're not the fans. That's you don't have fucking business. You got the best mouth in the wrestling business. And you give the fans what the fuck they want, dude. Listen, you guys don't want to see girls doing wrist locks and all that bullshit. You no, guys want to see us like no. fuck people up. When all four of you guys went outside, I was like, yes, because we never get to see that. Yeah, but I broke a sink. I wasn't supposed to. Ah, I'll offer to pay for it. What's it going to cost? 50 bucks or oh, something? I ain't worried about it. I got a real J-O-B. <laughs> if I depended on fucking uh, wrestling to, to eat these days, I'd fucking starve. No, I know. I know how. I know how but this is a good benefit, isn't it? It's all no, good. No, it definitely is. Definitely yeah, is. Yeah, 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 man. Thank you for doing it. Yeah, thank fuck you for yeah, being, man. For being fuck fucking yeah. real, man. Fuck I'm fucking real. Homegrown, no silicone. No, that's what I love about you. You're so real. God, love God bless it. Dick Murdoch. You train me well. Thank you. Peace love out. You. Hey, Jimmy. Fuck you. Or the bell.
Hey guys. Oh yeah. Guys. There's four of us. This better be an elimination. It's not. What? That wasn't elimination? The fuck was that, Blackwater? And still, H2O Hybrid Champion. That one I was out there drinking. I wasn't paying attention. Ah, horse shit. You guys awesome. are the best. <laughs> I want to see the face. I want to see Louis's yeah. face before oh, really? and right when the picture was about to be taken. No, His face went, "Hey!" Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
How's it going, guys? I can't hear you. So, uh, before we actually have our match, this show here is for Matt Tremont. Woo! Bulldozer! Now, I don't know if you guys have known, I've known Matt for many years. It's, uh, we have, uh, been doing a lot of things to each other, hurting each other, killing each other, uh, mainly me. Uh, <laughs> Man, but most recently, me and Matt Tremont went to Tokyo, Japan, and uh, battled in an explosion match against Otashi Onita, which is a uh, match dream. Much respect, man. Much respect. Matt, Matt went out and made this happen on his own. He went out there and cut promos and through the support of the fan base like you. I told him to do it. <laughs> and and, and yeah. Christine told him to do it. He, he went out there and got Onita's attention. And then he called me and I made it happen. See, the only problem is, since then, and going on this trip, this trip was really all about Matt. And I was like his sidekick. His bitch! His <laughs> bitch! <laughs> the sad part is, I've known Matt, he's been the most humble person I've ever met. Until now. Now he's just nothing but a little prima donna bitch. Oh! So, little Chondo here's been running his mouth, and he's your little sidekick. He's your little pandita. Alright? He sits here and, and tries to be like you, and you went around your mouth, and this piece of trash right here that we're doing this show for, you're lucky I even showed up, Matt, for all you've done. Mr. Cummins, you took half my company? Yeah! I sense jealousy! Now this little piece of trash is in my ring. He runs his mouth on social media. He is a and piece of trash. support him? <laughs> <laughs> what we do now? <laughs> Matt, this match right here is going to be a message to you. Because I'm going to beat the crap out of your little bitch. All right? And any other time you step back in the ring with the Larry God, I'm going to show you what I will do to you next. You ain't going to do shit. <laughs> well, for all y'all who don't know, you're about to die. <laughs> <laughs> when I call DJ the following things. I call DJ a $2 whore, which he is. Oh. <laughs> I said I was going to smack the bitch out of DJ, which I will. And you know what? I'm gonna do it lethally. Cause DJ, you gotta head the size of Fred Flintstone. I'm about to smack the shit out of you, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, what you got? Oh no. What you got? Oh, oh, yeah. oh holy shit! Jimmy, you're gonna fucking die, dude. <laughs>
Do it to his face! Come on, Jimmy! Come on, Jimmy! Ha! 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 You shut up, you stupid little tramp! <laughs> Lady in the tramp! <laughs> DJ loves Disney, Lady in the Tramp. You really? Really? Oh, fuck. Come on, Jimmy. 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 Come on, you son of a bitch. You suck. You swallow. Jimmy, bring it outside on the minivan! Come on, Jimmy! Oh. Ah, Jimmy! Come on, Jimmy! You shut up, old man. That's smelly ass. I feel bad for Jimmy. Jimmy, I'm rooting for you, Jimmy, even though I hate you. <laughs> but I hate DJ Moore. Oh, oh fuck, where I'm at right now, I hope I don't get knocked over. I might have to move. This ain't good. We've got timekeeper over here. His head still weighs more. Damn it, fucking pallet, Jimmy, I can't fucking see shit. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. You guys okay? <laughs> It's your boy. Huh? Come on, Jimmy. Show Matt what you got. Yo, Matt, don't take that disrespect. Come on, Jimmy. There's a little bit of jealousy there. Boy, Jimmy. Goodbye, DJ. DJ fights back with a fist in Jimmy Lyons face. Oh, Fuck you, DJ! Fuck you, DJ! Everybody likes DJ. You suck, DJ! And you suck me, bitch! Guess what? DJ getting nasty with the fans tonight. Come on, show me what you got! Oh. Beat it, beat it, DJ! Bring it outside! Oh. Come here! Jimmy's bringing that shit. Oh, are in the ring. Oh, my 
my god. It's your boy. Huh? Why? Because I can, that's why. DJ is just running his mouth. Bulldozer Matt Trima on his knife is a benefit about him to help him out. Got a fucking pallet and a goddamn shot. DJ's about to throw that whole uh, <laughs> puts that whole pallet on Jimmy's body notes. Told you I'm gonna finish it. Oh shit, he's gonna throw that whole shopping cart into him. Feels good. Now it's time to end your little bitch. Come on, Jimmy. Come on. Stop sign! Good night! No! Whoa, fucking dozer! Thing 
since 2011. And ever since I started watching back in 1999, there's been three letters that meant the world to me. That's CZW. But there are three letters that mean even more to me. T O D. Don't do it. So DJ, I already checked with Sammy. You're the last one that's got to say yes. You want Jimmy Line in Tournament of Death? Yeah. Jimmy, I helped you win, buddy. Uh, I don't know about TV either. <laughs> Can I have gas money? <laughs> DJ, go fuck yourself. We still love you, Jimmy. T-O-D. T-O-D. Give him a spot. Give him a spot. He deserves a spot, DJ. I don't know when and where they're going to be just yet, but if you see Doors match is up next. Ryan Harris, Mac. Can only assume. Ow! Can we just hear? I don't see why not. Hey, why are you throwing it? What? Oh, you want to do a raffle? This is the least oh, ultra shit, violent the thing you've ever asked me in your life. Usually when he comes up to me, he's like, hey, do the raffle. this sharp thing in my back, or my anus, or my forehead, and I'm like, no, that's a terrible idea. So, uh, let's do a raffle. You pans? Brett, I just want to say I love DCW, but I can't make October 28th. Oh, you son of a bitch. I know, because I have a Halloween party, though. You know, because I moved out here to Seoul. I haven't seen my friends in over a year, dude. So I, And that's saying a lot, because I will always go to GCW. GCW is my number one shit. They are wearing the shirt. Exactly, man. I, I fucking... GCW is my number one company. I just want to say I'm sorry, man. I just want to apologize. Well, uh, on behalf of Game Changer Wrestling, I would like to say that we accept your apology. And we invite you to return at your convenience. Oh. No, nah, seriously, I'm so disappointed, man. <laughs> but you know, you know, you got your friends you don't see for a while, and you move like your friends. <laughs> now, you know, I miss, you know, I miss the last time when my chick got pissed, so I gotta go to shit. <laughs> so, I understand, and I excuse you. That's good. Thank you. I appreciate that. The door is always open for your return. I love you, man. I love everything love about GCW, dude. No, I love so, you. Yeah, we got a winner. What's up, dudes? <laughs>
roll on this one, guys. Make it easier for you, Jimmy, when you edit. Don't cut. Do it, G! Sorry, Jim.
has been eliminated. Both the Awakening and Storm of Entrails are down to one competitor apiece. Damn, just threw that chair and hit fucking stockade in his face. I know. Hit right in the face. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on, Again, Battery to all dies. the men and women that can beat me today, y'all know I really it. appreciate it, and uh, yeah, fucking thank you. I really fucking thank you. Thank you, Bulldozer! Thank you guys, and I will say this to the missus, as she does not want me to, and she'll choke me later. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I love you. And this uh. is for you too, because I do all this um, for you, because I love you. <laughs> um, right now, I'm putting my heart, I, I love every company I work for, no matter if it's Game Changer, CZW, whatever, but right now I'm putting my heart and soul in building a brand from the bottom up, and that's H2O. And next Friday night, we come right back here for our biggest show to date, Blood Money. Be there. We'll be back this fucking place like we yes. always do. Please come out, continue to support H2O, and we'll be back here in December for 16 of the best in the business fighting this first ever horse tournament, yeah. then a Christmas show, then Hardcore Kingdom, yeah. and we're gonna build all the way to our big show next June called Hustle Mania, yeah. where we put it all in line. So continue to support H2O, and continue to support every company in this area. And I thank you. Store, and make sure that you stop by Bulldozers Collectibles. Support Matt Tremont, support Chrissy in every way that you possibly can, and thank you for being here and supporting professional wrestling. Yeah! It's my last 
Matt, Chrissy, I want you both. I want you both. Come here. I need you both. Hey. As you know, I'm one of the ultimate fans of indie, indie professional wrestling, deathmatch wrestling especially. You two, as a couple too, I fucking love you both, man. I just want to say thank, thank you. you, and thank you, Chrissy, too, for putting up with his shit, because I know you got to deal with a lot of shit. He gets injured a lot, and and as he just showed you, he respects the shit out of you and loves you, so thank you. Thank you both, man. Thanks, love you guys, I man. Thank you. Love you thank and I know it, it wasn't as much tonight, but, you know, but hey, any little bit helps, it dude. Helps, it all helps, man. It was fun day. Thank you guys. Thank you and for everything. we'll see you all at H2O, yes. motherfucking Friday. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. Thank you, man. All right, I got to go interfere with Cat and Day's uh, video here and just talk about the show. Um, the next one uh, is, is that uh, Jeff Cannonball and Lord Light Louis Remos um, did uh, in, in the VCR that it is that um, they used everything the VCR, um, the gossip place, and a bulldozer Captain. of ultra violence. Captain Dave, thank you, can sir. I come in here for like 30 seconds with you real quick? Yeah, sure, go ahead. All right, I'm here with the fucking captain as he's doing his video. Captain, how about that spot with Amy Lee when, he, when she kicked Maria Manic in the clit? Um, well, I got to say, <laughs> I, I, I have to say this, Adam. Uh, Prime time Amy, uh, Amy Lee did, is, is that uh, you don't want to fuck around with well, Amy Lee. Did uh, you know that I answered that? She gave the fans what they fucking wanted, man. Uh, and then, well, well, this, uh, what the fans wanted, this is what the bulldozer I wanted her to it. kick and it then, in the clip. You want it, you got it. You fucking and got then, it. And then they say, everything, no rules, no limits, and no boundaries. Right what? here on the Captain's Corner as, podcast. As show. you personally, you've experienced, I mean, what, you've a thousand wrestling shows at least. Yes. Was that one of the coolest ladies' matches you've ever seen brought up? Absolutely. The right? Coolest, that was fucking absolutely awesome. Absolutely the coolest ladies' match. So, right now, me and you, me and we should just bow down. We got to bow down. Like, thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Seriously, that, besides uh, Low Life Louie and uh, Jeff, Cannonball. Jeff Cannonball's match. Yeah. That was like a contender right there. Those two yeah. matches, man. It's like hard to decide what was the better match. Yeah, they were uh, so good, yeah, man. And, and, and let's not forget that you're talking about the board of dildos um, in, in a mm. match. That, I mean... I'm jealous, man. I, 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 I'm it. so jealous. I would have loved to have sat so, down on that I, fucking I at, board. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I'm so jealous. He's jealous. I'm jealous. That, and everybody, I'm even jealous. <laughs> yeah. Now, what, how much would it cost for you to sit down on one of those dildo boards? That um, one dildo board. I'm, I'm going to say that right here, <laughs> I, it, it, it should be free. <laughs> Unlimited, free of charge. Dave, I fucking love you. Wait, I'm going to... I got to uh, give you a hug, brother. I fucking uh, thank love you, man. So, uh, I love I, you, too. I'm sorry to interfere with your thing. You do your uh, thing, no, brother. No, it's all right here. Follow this man, because he keeps up on every goddamn wrestling show in New Jersey on the indie circuit, even out in PA sometimes. Keep That's up right. with him, man. That's right, man. You're man. Did you do your thing, dude? Uh, always, yeah. Thank Nothing you. Nothing but love for you, man. Thank you so much, NJ. Love that dude. And he keeps up with his shit, dude. It's better than I. I can't even fucking introduce videos like that, man. He's so good at it. Okay. To retain. Dave, I can't finish the beer. It's all you if you want it. Um, I'd rather I'd rather be staying safe. Yeah, just be sober and rather you be You should sorry. stay sober. Fuck drinking. Yeah, yeah, fuck, fuck drinking, drinking and driving. Stay, fuck drinking and driving. Stay sober or get pulled over. <laughs> you, if only I knew you back then before I got my second DWI. Yeah. Damn it, Dave. Right. <laughs> and so, and then, anyway, there's that, um... Hello? How you doing, girl? Where you, where you going? <laughs> What show are we going to see you at next? Saturday at JPW. What about H2O Friday? Oh, yeah, shit, I'll be here. Yeah, Fuck it, yeah, H2O, yeah! <laughs> Bye, Jada. Bye. We love you. Bye, love you. Nice butt. <laughs> there was a nice butt, though. Uh, no comment. Because <laughs> <laughs> he'll get yelled at. Yep. Uh, he said that. No, he loves this girl. He don't care about butts. I love my girl, but I love butts and titties. <laughs> you, got, no. you got a neighbor now? 
No, no, that's they just park their car there because yeah. they're allowed to. I love okay. you. Oh, I look at the you. mailbox over there. Look. What happened? Did you knock it over? No, the kids. No, I don't have a license anymore. Oh yeah, you can't drive. The kids that like live over here in this other house, they were like watching the Eagles game, and I guess or something Sunday they, they did somebody space. bagged out and was like boom. Oops. I kind of heard it, but yeah, that's the only way it could have fell unless I don't know. Watch this. Watch this. Share this. Facebook it. YouTube it. Share it. Like it and fuck it. Yeah, seriously. No bullshit though. Uh, glad you guys came and or didn't come but you're watching this so you did kind of come you're about to come right now you're about to come <laughs> <laughs> wait do you see louis scene man when yo, i got that corner shot with that yo that uh bore dildo to the mouth man no you and me both dude yeah i was like shit yeah well you know i haven't got a driver's license come take me when you get a haircut take me to go get a okay haircut to alex work. i'm coming to you shout out to alex yes alex i need to get a haircut yo he's really good Oh, it's a he. Oh, Alex, you're really good. Yeah, he's really good. He's the man. No, seriously, I need a haircut. Who's that? I don't know, but me and you're about to make out. <laughs> I love you, dude. Thank I love you, you, you so much. Thank you so much for tonight. I always appreciate you picking me up. You know, I love you. And now with this second fucking DWI of mine, which I'm completely ashamed of. By the way, kids, don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. I'm Tell not drunk. To. I'm and, not drunk. And he's not. He's not. Nope. Second one, dude. I got to do a weekend in jail. Lose my license for two years. Get an interlock <laughs> device for a year after that. Right yard. Total money with fines. Got to do this IDRC class. I can't it, imagine. It's about almost ten grand over the next three years. He's, so, re uh, he's like my motivation fuck. not to get a DUI. Yeah, like I wish I had somebody to like tell me not to do that stuff because I went up because like back Any, anyone can tell you not. Obviously, don't drink and drive. Obviously, but when you have a buddy who actually did it just because he just made a stupid mistake, we, and you can see the consequences you know firsthand, what? it's like yeah, I don't want that. Exactly. <laughs> you know how I grew up, my parents would like fight all the time. My dad would be like. Who didn't drink and drive in the 70s and 80s? That's and shit. different. It's 70. This is 2017. But that's what I'm saying. Like even well, even in my town, like in the 90s and early 2000s, they would tell you to go home. They would just be like, go I've home. had three times where I got pulled over in my early 2000s, where cops locally and in Philadelphia told me just get the fuck out of the car, leave your keys and whatever, and get just, the fuck go, out of here, dude. Leave. And now five years later, my first one was in like 2007 or 2000. Or it was 2010. It was 2005. My couple times it happened to me but back then they didn't care but now i get it why they take it so serious but anyway just don't drink and jive and like big butts yeah like big butts don't drink and drive share this video and watch women kick other women in the clit yeah yeah <laughs> cheers <laughs> cheers kids love you <laughs> hey cricket hey cricket get out of my garage get out of my garage i got you i got you i got you hey go hop on mama's kia yeah, hop, 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 hop. Dead. Okay, so I'm home now. Beckham actually walked for the first time the other day. I'll show at the end of this one. Come on, buddy. Let's go, come on. Come on, walk, come on. He usually walks with things like holding on. Uh, he's like, I don't want to do it. We can probably get him to do it. Let's try again. Come here, buddy, walk. Come on, bud, you can do it. Come on, come on. Oh, fail again. All right, let's try it this way. Come on, walk. Come on, walk. No, oh no, he's still falling. He's still not 100%. Come on, walk the dead dad. Come on. Come on, walk the dead dad. See, he always uses like this in surrounding environment. Come on, walk the dead dad. Yeah, walk. Walk the dead dad. Come on, handsome. You can do it. Come on. Come on. No, no, cheese. Yeah, well, cheese. Yeah, I'm taking your picture. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> All right, we'll just show what you did earlier at the end of this. Cheese. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Cheese. Come on. <gasps> come on. Let go of that. Come on. <gasps> oh, look at you go. <gasps> oh, yeah, boy. Yeah. Look at you go, my man. My man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. Yeah, look at you go. You got. You're still using me to lean, though. You don't need me. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Yeah. Look, we'll let go. Oh, he fall down. Brody, I love you. I like you. What's happening? You been good for mama? This is what we do when we hang out. We go like this. We go one, two, three. Ah! He 
doesn't care right now. Children? No, no, no. I love you, stinky face. I love you. <laughs> I love you, stinky. Look at your face. Look at that stinky face. Look at his stinky face. What is mommy and daddy gonna dress up with for Halloween this year, huh? Ow. What are we gonna do with that Halloween stuff? We gotta get you, we're gonna dress you as unicorns? What are we doing? Huh? Unicorns? Look, it's bright, look. <gasps> look behind us, look. Brody, this way. Look, look, see the bright light? <gasps> Turn this way. Hey, look. Look at this way, look. Hey. Brody, or Beckham. Beckham, look. <gasps> Look at this way, don't look. They're like looking outside. All right, everybody, I'm home now. Uh, Stauffer just dropped me off. Thank you, Stauffer, again. These are my baby boys. Mommy was up late last night for her best friend's 30th birthday, so I'm making her some food, making them some bottles. What? You wanna look out there? What's important out there? What's important out there? What's so important out there? All I hear is jiggling milk inside their bellies. <laughs> but not tonight's show was cool shit. I always want to end the video with these boys, but I never can. I'm going to come back again and talk about the show. But this is my life, man. That's all I do every day. This is Brody. Say hi, Brody. This is Beckham. Beckham, come on. Oh, shit. No, don't grab the camera, damn it. <laughs> Well, they're destroying it. Ah, we gotta get them back inside. Oh, they're destroying the camera. I gotta put them back over the gate. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here's your bottles. Here's your bottle. As you hit the camera and almost broke it. And here is yours. He still doesn't know how to sit down and do it on his own. So I have to go in there and help him. Right? Yep. And he's pissed. <laughs> the boys. Mars needs mom's. Daddy be cooking for mommy as always, man. Mommy, what's for dinner for me this week, man? You got a buffalo chicken cheesesteak wrap. You got fucking crab fries, man. Dude, daddy be frying shit, all that crap, man. You lucky. Oh, man. All right, everybody. It's been about like 45 minutes since I've been home, as you just saw. I uh, was in there messing around with my kids, brought them out here. You know, I, I usually take videos of them every month, but as of lately, I've been slacking on that. Um, Usually just special occasions. The last one I took was my second born son Beckham's first birthday, like August 1st. It was like August 5th. We did it the following Saturday after that. And I haven't had one since. I put them in there for the other one of the few wrestling vlogs. So that, that's them. That's my boys. I love them to death. And you guys know, any, anybody has children, you know you love your fucking kids to death. All right, so I'm going to review that video as I just uh, let my girl go upstairs. She had her best friend's 30th birthday last night. I made her dinner, fucking buffalo chicken cheesesteak wrap, fresh old, chopped it all up, fresh chicken, fried her some fries, put that fucking, uh, the crab fry, whatever the fucking shit, the fucking crab stuff, fucking spices on there, salt, pepper, she's not feeling too good, but now I got my boys, you know, she, I made her at least change her diapers, I had, I got them up today at 6.30, I'm watching them on our nest game, and they're being really good, we put on a movie for them, inside out. And then uh, I'm going to review this video log, and then I'm going to put them to bed and call it a night. So, um, show was off the chains, dude. Off the chains. My favorite part, though, as a fan was, like, asking Amy Lee to kick Maria Manic in the clit, and she did. So cheers to that, Amy, as I drink from this giant flask the size of my head. Maybe the size of Maria Manic's clit a couple months from now, who knows? Maria, that's a joke, I don't know. 
it's funny. A sip of whiskey and cheers to everybody. And cheers to Jeff and his lady for putting this show together for Matt Tremont. And just everybody tonight. Good people. You guys are all familiar faces. We all get to know each other as we keep going to these shows. And uh, let me re review this. Put my kids to bed at one point while I'm reviewing it and have some final words. And if you guys don't mind, I'll probably show my kids again. I apologize for that. You know, if you don't want to do that, you just, I'll put like, yeah, skip over this. But, you know, I love my boys to death and I, you know, I like to share moments of them and I would love to bring them to shows if they're way too young. So one more sip to my boys too as you become grown men someday. Cheers, I'll have to review this fucking bulldozer bash because this shit was off the fucking yazzles. Shit was seriously, was one of the best benefit shows I've ever been to in my life, hands down, dude. Benefit show, you don't think it's going to be that good and that crazy? The show was just up there with OPW, H2O, GCW, CCW, like, as we know. Jersey indie 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 wrestling, dude. We are we are at that fucking level, dude. There's nobody you can touch this area in Jersey, man. And like I was telling people out there, and they're like, "Shut up, TJ. We know you live like fucking in Seoul. You live three miles from the, the OTW, the Kevin Hall Memorial uh, Hall, the Hogan Kevin Hogan Memorial Hall, OTW Arena. Now five miles from CCW. And of course, you know H2O is over there too at both those spots. The dojo." The only far spot I got to go is GCW, and I don't mind driving the 80 miles. Well, I mean, I don't drive because I got my second DWI. I got to go to my IDRC class tomorrow. What a loser, TJ. I bought a bicycle, a beach cruiser. I'm going to cruise to all these shows and cruise to my class. If it comes tomorrow, I'm going to do that. But, uh, yeah, don't drink and drive, kids. But, anyway, I'll shut the fuck up. Let's watch this video. Before I forget, though, I got to drop a mean deuce. This is for you, Stauffer, because he always sends me Snapchats of him pooping. Well, if I ever become single again, there's no way in hell that any lady would ever take me in after that. But I don't ever plan on becoming single, and I don't plan on sharing this with my girl. Babe, if you ever see this, I'm sorry. I, I don't poop. My man, right there, dude. Hey, I want to end this video. Hey. Cheese. Will you sing Tupac? I get around. Oh, as you grab the camera, will you sing I Tupac I get around? I get around. Bump, 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 bump. Let's do this. Let's do this, buddy. Let's go. Oh, my man. He just walked. Right, he just walked. I thought he was done walking. No, but he just walked. He just walked. Oh yeah, you you grab that camera. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we gonna sing Tupac, then we going to bed. No, you can't have that. Can't touch this MC Hammer. Hey, hey. You're part of this musician play track and all that crap. You're into it, okay? Let's do it. Yeah, yeah you're gonna do it with me and your little brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take this fire truck and just like go. Wait, give me this. Give me this. Let's go. This is what he, he normally does. He just goes. <laughs> loud. Okay, let's, um, yeah, let's, uh, uh, start the video. This is, um, Tupac. I, I, I get around. Let's start it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we gotta do it. We got no, no. Put that damn thing down. What? Nah, you're not doing it right. Damn it, boy. Cries when she leaves me and every time she sees me, squeeze me, lady, think it's easy. 
From my everyday fix, I ain't rich. A six, a six, a six, a six. Just another white man caught up in the mix. Trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Just cause I'm a freak, don't mean that we can hit the sheep. Maybe I can see. Ah, oh, shit, he's all fucking up. We never knew a hooker that could share me. Like, yo, what's up, bro? I'm doing it. Love that, so I'm trying to do it. Dick, bro. Dang, homegirl, what is cool? Yeah, that's cool, but did you tell you about it? Sister, hey, come on. Oh, they're fucking shit up. <laughs> Stop the holes and get around. Good. Fingertips on the hips is a dip. Gotta get a tight grip. Don't slip, lose lip, that shit is a trick. I love the way she licks her lips. See, bitch, I can put a little twist in the hips because I'm watching. Conversations on the phone. Bring it up. I'm on low. What am I talking? Turn them off. Turn them off. Turn them off. Turn them off. Let it off. You don't know me. You just met me. What if I couldn't have you sing? I'd be like sweaty. Hit the door. Search for a new guy. Cause I only got one. Not damn, baby, darling, damn, baby, darling, damn, but get ready. Alright, we gotta go to bed. Let's go. <laughs> Good night, we gotta review the video. Hey, you, McMuffin. Mc Big McMuffin. Hey. Hey, he doesn't want to like this. Get this ball, we'll go, hey, watch. He's not going to like it. Oh, hey, Brody. Brody, catch. <laughs> You're going to laugh, though. That's the funny part. It's like, he does not care. <sighs> Buddy, we got to go to bed, dude. It's, 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 it's 10 o'clock at night. He needs to go to sleep. Alright, let's get him upstairs. Let's go. We'll check back in. Yeah, bubble. Hey. hey. Bedtime for the oh, oh, they want to go down at the same time, but Hey, my man. You know, I'm, I'm trying. I can't get them both down at the same time. Beckham, what's wrong, Beckham? Beckham, what's wrong? I'll be right back. Hey. Hey. Okay. Good night, little McMuffin. Brody, I love you. You gotta go to bed. He stays up till 12. It's 10 now. He'll be up for two hours now. Sitting up there singing and screaming. I gotta get your little brother. Ow, it's a tickle. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> Fuck you, Munty. Fuck you, Boo Boo. Fuck you. Fingertips on the hips as I dip. Gotta get a tight grip. Don't slip. Loose lips ain't shit. It's a trip. I see the way she licks her lips. See me jacket put a little twist in her hips. Cause I'm watching. Conversations on the phone. Turn the break it on. The lights on. Turn them off. Alright, 
got you. You gotta go to bed and some. You gotta walk. <coughs> He's smelly. Hey. I love you. You gotta go to bed though. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Good night, ass white. I was only kidding. He will tuck you in. I did tuck you in and be all sweet until I love you. Get some sleep, man. <laughs> Fuck. Don't fall. Oh, I'm just kidding. I love you. Good night. Fingertips on the hips as I dip, gotta get at that grip, don't slip, blues, lips ain't shit, just a trip. I love the way she licks her lips, see me jacking, put a little twist in the hips cause I'm watching. Conversations on the phone, to the breaking on Alright, my sons are in bed, I changed them, they're in bed. You know what's really good before you go to bed? This dry oil. It tastes so good. Yeah, get it turned. Turn it, turn it like it, twist it like it's hot. God damn it, it's not working. I literally could throw up right now, sorry. This just be weird, it's not funny. My kids would never make me tan. All right, everybody, so now it is now Wednesday, October, uh, I, I believe it's 18th, 2017. Um, I just got done reviewing <clears throat> Bulldozer, uh, the Bulldozer Bash <clears throat> benefit show. I apologize, I keep going. <clears throat> um, I, I tried to end it the other day on Sunday, right after the show got done. The show started at like 2 o'clock. On a Sunday, which I didn't get a chance to like really finish it properly. I mean, I could show you something I said afterwards. Maybe I'll share it now, or maybe I won't. I don't know. If I did, I did. I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I was completely obliviated. Uh, kids were already in bed, and I was uh, a little shift haste. Shift haste. Um, I I wrote down a little bit of notes here. Um. I'm going to say, Joe Gacy and uh, Tony Deppin, your match, your opening match was fucking awesome, dude. It was. It was really fucking great. The best part about at the end of your match was when uh, Joe Gacy was just like, hey, um, let me see, I wrote down a note. Yeah. Um, you and uh, Tony Deppin are not appreciated today. I mean, I'm just like, I'm not saying exact your exact words, but, uh, I'm not even sure if uh, Tony Deppin was in uh, CZW. Because I don't watch CZW anymore. I, like, I love CZW, but like... CZW was about 20 miles away from me, but now it's only 5 miles away from me. And uh, this past weekend... 5 miles, I did not go there and attend it, so... I mean, I guess that's what it tells you as a, like, a dedicated fan. I... I I mean, I'm a very dedicated fan to indie wrestling, especially when it comes to hardcore stuff, deathmatch wrestling. I'm always going to be there, and I will always have a, uh, there's always going to be a place in my heart for uh, CZW, but, you know, it's still not the same, and DJ, I apologize for those words, but it's not the same, man, and, uh, okay, let's go on to the next uh, shit. Amy Lee, Tara. Your tag match against the ladies uh, tonight. <laughs> the, 
best female tag match I have ever seen. And that was at a fucking benefit show, but it was Matt Tremont, the bulldozer's fucking benefit show. That, um, Cannonball and uh, Tara set up today. Your wifey Tara, you know, dude, that was fucking awesome. The only other match that was, like, close to being what that match was was uh, Low Life Louie and uh, Jeff Cannonball's match. Like, the uh, TP Gusset Plate death match. Like, other than that, dude, I don't know, I'm about to share it on uh, Facebook any moment now. I, I, I talked to Tremont tonight. Uh, actually, I posted the last two uh, H2O shows, the one-year anniversary, and uh, I believe it was Brutality. Then we have Blood Money this Friday. Unfortunately, I'm, you know, when you guys all see all this stuff, it's going to be months down the line. Because I never want to take away the DVD sales from Tremont's company, of course, H2O, and of course, Smart Mark and stuff. But I would love to keep up in current events. Because, you know, DVD sales aren't like, I don't know personally how they are. But it always brings a new crowd into there. So that that's my ultimate goal as I do this stuff. But uh, let's keep going on here. I was just going to get my kids and put them to bed. <laughs> Um, let's see here, uh, oh, the best part about the, the tag, the female tag match was Amy Lee when she was like, <laughs> oh my god, I like lost it, um, <laughs> Amy Lee tells Maria Manic and her tag team partner, I forget your name, girl, I, I apologize, I, I completely apologize, she's like, but Amy Lee was like, hey, you two suck! Worse than I suck my own husband's balls! So fucking funny. Another reason why you hear me constantly on this video yelling Amy Lee nonstop. Like, so fucking funny. Louie and Jeff Cannonball, dude. Um, like I just said, the t the TP or Tepe uh, Gusset Plate Deathmatch, dude. Like, I'm not gonna like go into detail, but it was simply just fucking awesome. The corner shot I got of uh, you in the corner, Louie, and uh, Jeff does his, like, cannibal thing and just fucking drops the fucking dildo down your throat. So good. And Louie, you know, you and Jeff are both my boys, dude. Like, well, you know, I'm only a wrestling fan to you guys, but, you know, I don't know if you consider me a friend, but I consider you guys friends. Like, you guys are good people, man, and, like, I hope to see you guys succeed and keep fucking growing and... I just love watching you two. You two are so entertaining, dude. I, I love everything about you guys, man. Louie, I've been watching you since fucking... Christ, man. Uh, as you hear my kids screaming on the baby monitor over here. Um, I would tell Louie, like, stories that I would see him back at the ECW arena back in, like, Christ, it was like 2002 or three or even before that, man. Louie's been doing professional deathmatch wrestling for, like, 20 years. So, Jeff Cannibal, I'm sure he always appreciates Louie. And Jeff Cannonball, he, he's like the younger version of you, Louie. You two are like, we're on the same path, but just different times. And to see you two get in the ring tonight was fucking awesome. And Louie, as you called out Schlack to have a death match with you, you know Schlack, like I told you before, Louie, you don't have to get on your knees for that. Schlack will gladly get in the ring with you, dude. Schlack is always willing to bleed, man, and I hope to see that in the future, man. Whether it's H2O, OPW, CCW, GCW, benefit show, like we saw tonight, like I can't believe this, what I can't believe that I'm talking about a benefit show and how good it was tonight, man. Thank you guys, man. And Schlack, in the future, thank you if you end up doing this with Louie, because you know he truly deserves it. And, oh, you guys are like about the same age. Schlack and Louie, you guys are like about the same age. Schlack, you started in this shit a lot later than him, but you've been bleeding for God knows how long with your music industry and shit, and... You're a true original, dude. Schlack, fucking love you. Louie, love you. Jeff Cannibal, love you for what you did with uh, Louie tonight, man. The best part was at the end when you're like, Angela, this is not what I planned. <laughs> I don't know if you were if you were referring to uh, Louie saying, I want to go back to doing this, or if it was like something with the dildos. I don't fucking know. But either way, I fucking loved it. Keep going down on my notes. Uh, oh, the video I shot with a uh, referee trooper. But stall for outside. <laughs> we were like joking around, just talking. And I had that that stupid cat dad video. Oh, hold on. For those that don't fucking know it, god damn it. This 
Damn it. There it is. This stupid fucking mask. This isn't the original one I had. The original one I have, it's in my book bag over there. I bring it all the time to the shows, but I never want to bring it out. This stupid fucking mask, me scaring my, my cats, all five adopted, and that cat grip. And we're joking around with saying, like, literally, I'm over a billion views, like, on fucking social media. Shame that it falls on the floor. Doesn't pay what it does today. And we asked Trooper, like, hey, well, what is it if you saw a billion people gave TJ a penny? Install for it, and us, we're all trying to add it up. I, I kind of thought it was uh, 10 million, but I don't want to step in because I'm a fucking moron. I did not graduate high school. But uh, Trooper came in there and told us, like, yeah, it's 10 million. <laughs> and I was like laughing as I like walked away, and I was like, man, Trooper. <laughs> Trooper's like explaining. He, he's really good at math, but I was like, man, his job now today is a, uh, well, I don't know if it's like official job. I'm sure he's got another career, but he's like, he can count to three, that's all he's got to do. He can count to like a billion, ten million. <laughs> but he's just got to count one, two, three. And apparently you can't do that too well, Trooper. I'm not saying you can't, but a lot of the guys in the ring say you can't. You, you've cost some matches, dude. Somebody might let you to fuck up. Yeah. Okay, as we keep going on. Uh, I like how I have notes. I feel like I'm like... Captain Dave here because I never write notes because I can't remember all this shit. <laughs> By the way, I wish Captain Dave would have introduced this uh, video tonight because he's so good at what he does. So, guys, I can't continue to say follow him, man. Seriously, like, where are you going to get somebody else that like, gives you live reports after the show? Captain Dave Network, Wrestling Network, get on him. Captain Dave, Captain Dave, just Dave Spieler on fucking uh, Facebook, find him. Um. <laughs> oh, uh. Blackwater, <laughs> Blackwater's match in the four-way match. You blew some kind of bullshit in fucking Jimmy Lloyd's face. Like, first of all, what the fuck? Last time it was fire, which was like fucking awesome. But at the same time, like, seriously, what the fuck, dude? So now we get to see this Friday, two days from now, which of course none of you guys are ever gonna see this video before then, unfortunately, because I don't want to ever hurt DVD stuff. But uh. Jimmy Lloyd's gonna destroy you, Blackwater. Blackwater is very up and coming, and I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I'm a big, I'm a fan of Blackwater, dude. He, he's a unique gimmick. He's good in the ring, and I don't know, I enjoy him. And I'm looking forward to him and Jimmy Lloyd's match. And I'm sorry, Jimmy Lloyd, you had to deal with that shit, and you got screwed the fuck over, dude. And fuck him. We'll see you at uh, H2O fucking Blood Money this Friday. Uh, let's see here. Uh, DJ Hyde and uh, Jimmy Lyons match. <laughs> TJ, dude, like, I have so much I want to say, but I'm going to try to keep my mouth shut. As being a, a local in Seoul, New Jersey. Uh, DJ, I know you're going to hate me for this, but I did not attend CZW this past Saturday. I live in Seoul. The show was in Seoul. But it was at the Kid Academy. So I wanted to see what would go on first. But then as it went on, I knew a couple people that work at the Kid Academy. Unfortunately, because I live in this stupid hometown for now two years. And this woman said, oh, were well, you going to be here for the show? Like, I heard this is a really great wrestling company. I was like, I was like yeah, yeah, I'm going to be there. I didn't say a fucking word, anything dirty. <laughs> the woman that lives down the street from me said she regularly thinks like you weren't allowed to smoke you weren't allowed to do shit like so I'm pretty bummed about that so like of course I'm going to be at Cage of Death and I'm always going to be at Tournament of Death because that is a your your home ground your the house you grew up at where you're allowed to do whatever the fuck you want and it's a shame that you can't do whatever the fuck you want at this venue you gotta find a place where you can do whatever the fuck you want whether it's like a big venue or a small venue now, as I watched Matt Tremont, as he, he was doing OPW with Loudy, and now he's just doing strictly uh, H2O on his own, and he's, he's all for me, uh, OPW. It doesn't matter how big the venue is. It matters how many fans that are dedicated to you. And I miss that old school feeling, man. DJ, like, as a fan that, that, that's been around since... Since fucking Christ, dude, like... 
you're talking to a person that went to like Froggy's Bar like in 2001 out in Delaware, dude. I, I've been going to these shows since God knows how long. When ECW folded, I went to like almost every show, dude. And as another, as a man that went to ECW too before it folded, my first ECW match, like I tell a lot of my friends, was Sabu and Terry Funk. Their their no rope barbed wire match. It was, it, it was good for it. It's time. But it wasn't that great as you look at wrestling today. Just from this benefit show, today was like fucking awesome. And I don't want to ever tell you how to run your business. Because I, honestly, I don't know shit. But the local underground stuff is always going to be better than the mainstream shit. So don't try to make CZW into this, this company where it's like ROH and it's like all wrestling. Because look, I love wrestling companies. Like... Janela came back, I, I talked to him after GCW one, or before GCW show one night, and he came back from uh, Pro Gorilla Wrestling, and they are the shit, like, their wrestling's phenomenal. The CZW has that too, but I don't quite know how to say how to do this, but it doesn't matter how big the venue is. You gotta make it like a small indie show. I personally would love to see CZW, like, not saying you, you should do a Kevin Hall or Kevin Hogan Memorial Hall OTW Arena but a small venue where it's like oh 200 people can fit in there and just like look turn down turn down and then people will be like oh shit we can't go to the show and then we gotta watch it on network and like but as you bring it to this this kid place and I saw online it said we were serving liquor we're gonna have light tubes which I heard you guys did have light tubes but I don't know it's it's a whole thing man it, and I can't imagine what you're going through, and I have no hate for you. It's just constructive criticism, but as if I was doing it, I'd probably be just as lost as you are, man. It's it's a hard industry to break through. Is It's not a normal wrestling company. It's a lot of things that people don't do today, and just saying much love to you, and uh, I don't know. you got to figure that shit out, dude. Man, let me keep going here. That's my notes. I'm still DJ Hot, and I love you, dude. But I have more to say, though. Oh, when you made that comment, <laughs> you and Tremont, I hope to see you and Tremont in the fucking ring, dude. When you were like, Tremont, you took half of my fucking company right now. And in my head, I'm just like, I didn't say anything, but I'm like, real life. <laughs> I don't know if it's like a wrestling gimmick, but you took John Zandig's company away from him, basically. But I don't know if John Zandig could even ha handle uh, what's going on today, because it... Like, I'm just saying, it's really hard to make it big today because there's, some, there's so much limitations to what you want to do, the light tube thing. And as GCW progresses, you're going to have a lot of competition. And I really hope one day that you, Brett, Danny, with GCW, you guys can figure out some kind of feud and we can see, I'm not saying it ever happened, but it could be a possibility, where we could see, like, the NWO... WCW, WWE, WWF, whatever, like a big feud like that. You really step off. But you also, you boys got to like say fuck the DVD sales on shit. Just put it straight up online and figure ways out. Like tonight I posted like a simple video for H2O. I put two quick clips up because I only have like 20 minutes to do it. I want to make highlight reels of H2O. I want to make highlight reels of GCW. I want to make highlight reels of fucking OPW. And even CZW, you guys will let, let me, but I know you, you guys have a company, so it's like harder for me to do it. CZW Studios doesn't let me do that. I've had videos taken down. I still have not posted the latest uh, Tournament of Death because I know I still got to take down some wrestling videos. It's like literally 90% is backstage, but I still got that, you know, I can probably put like 5% of some videos and the other 5%'s got to get taken down. I'm just saying, like, you can't sweat that shit. You guys got to, like, figure that shit out, man. And as a big fan of YouTube, it's a big young, it's a young audience. And it's a shame that the audience is, is so young and so like, we're into, they're into like the drama, just like TMZ today with like celebrities, like there's like a network called Drama Alert. If you could imagine yourself being on Drama Alert, you'd get like fucking 2 million views overnight. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to say you got to be willing to let whatever video content is shared to be shared and not taken down because it's just more publicity for you. You're never going to get what is edited with the three or four camera angles or even less than two or three. 
it's not going to be like that. When it's professionally edited and you get that DVD, it's completely different from the video logs or like the fan videos or people holding up their cell phones. And as we go through the, the age of like everybody has a cell phone where they're just like doing shit like I have this fucking iPhone 4, I don't use this, I use my camera that I'm using now. But you got to let them do that. And I think you guys did kind of this year, and it did help out a little bit, but just notice, so let, let them do that. I'm talking too long. All right, let me go back to what I was talking about. Blue, 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 blue. I gotta get my kids and change their diapers and put them in bed. Okay. Also, uh, Schlack and Ryan O'Hare, the door match versus. Um, Fuck, can't even think. Uh, G Raver and Stockade. I apologize, by the way, for the end of that match, that I did not capture the very last spot to end the match. But again, Trima has this company, Double Stomp Video, where you can buy the full DVDs edited. And of course, whatever I shot will get edited in there when Jimmy needs it. And I send it to Jimmy always because I love these guys and I love this company and I always will support them. I don't need no fucking money. But I missed it. It was like my, my battery died. But I switched my battery so quick that when I hit hit record immediately, it did not hit record. And I missed the last part of Tremont talking, like his last moments, his speech there. I only got like five minutes and I missed like five or ten minutes before that. And I, I'm very sorry about that. I apologize. But again, that's what these DVDs are for. And I don't want them to send me that footage for me to use because I can know I could ask Jimmy to use it like I did before with the Amy Lee thing and I never even used it as I posted it today. I posted today H2O one year anniversary and H2O bro brutality and as of now I'm about to post uh, the Bulldozer Bash. I'm about to post uh, Maria Manic and uh, Tara's match. The the female match dude. It was fucking awesome. I'm going to post that in a moment. Um, what else we got here? Oh that's it. I just want to say the fucking show was fucking awesome as always. Um, I apologize that I wasn't 100% doing this. But, you know, you get what you paid for and it's free. So uh, let me go inside with my kids and uh, get them ready to go to bed. And again, guys, stop judging, start loving, accept others for they are, and just be yourself. Me, yeah. And if you want, you can follow me back into the house with my kids. Or you can turn this off because this is it. There's no more wrestling talk. Just me and my kids. Okay? So, meow. All right, let's get my boys. My boy Beckham just started uh, walking <laughs> last week. So, I know he's not going to do it for me on camera. But let's go see what they're up to. It's now, oh, it's 9 o'clock. They need to go to bed. Let's go. You want to follow me inside? Remember, you turn it off if you don't want to watch this. Wrestling shit's done. Let's go. Watch this. It's going to be fun. Oh, by the way, I want to say, you know, I got my DWI. Look at that bike. Oh, big pimpin' rolling on 18s, white wool tires. <laughs> oh, fuck my life. <laughs> Seriously, that's a bike I'm going to be riding over to that. <laughs> the OTW Arena, <laughs> the Kevin Hogan Memorial Hall, because it's three miles down the road. Maybe even CZW one night. But, I don't know, man. Cage of Death, I'll be there. I'll be there, DJ, DJ, for fucking Cage of Death. But other than that, I don't know, man. You got to convince me otherwise, dude. I love my indie scene, son. And you just stick with that indie. All right, let's go find these kids. Let's go. Welcome to Disney World. Hey. Hey, boo-boo. Boo-boo. Hey. Hey, McMuffin. Wh why the hell are these hot chairs all over here? Hey. Oh, look at you walking and shit. Oh, look at you walk. Oh, look at you walking. Look at you walking. What's that? <laughs> 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 ah, look at you drooling and shit. Wait, can I get this finger? <laughs> <laughs> look at that finger right there. <laughs> Wait, let's get your brother. Let's go get your brother. Boo boo. Get the fuck out of here. I gotta go tickle your. Yeah, let's get this boy. Hey. Hey. Hey, can I join you? I'm gonna go join him. Hey. 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 Can I turn this movie off?
Can I turn this? What? Oh, what? Oh, they all want in. What are you doing, McMuffin? What are you doing? What are you doing? You know it's past your bedtime. It's nine o'clock. Yeah, big fucking pay. Hey, that's my goddamn string for my goddamn hoodie. Get off it. Get, get, get off of that. Get, get, get off. Get off. Get off of that shit. Hey. Hey. One day these boys are gonna be adults. And they're gonna be professional wrestlers. They're gonna be like, bro, bro. <laughs> if they want to be, I mean, I won't make them do it. Hey, let's get boo, baby. Boo boo will be a professional wrestler. Let's get boo boo. Let's get boo boo. Hey, boo boo. Hey, 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 hey. Boo boo. Are you a professional wrestler? This is out of all our cats, I picked her out. She's my black kitty. Hey, McMuffin, can you get her? Hey, what's going on with this kitty? Yeah, you get that kitty out. <laughs> what? 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 We kiss her, we love her. It's okay, she doesn't have claws. Oh, she's gone. Hey, hey, he left me. Can I just push you down? Hey, hey, I want to tell you right now. I want to tell you right now that Mars needs moms. Yeah, they need moms. Mars needs. Moms! Should we tell your brother how Mars needs moms? Hey, we only got 10 years to be on Mars! Mars! Moms! Moms! H2O needs babies! You know what the best part about Despicable Me 3 is? Is that, uh, my man from fucking, uh, shit, I'm talking to you like you're an adult. <laughs> Trey Parker from South Park is on there doing the voice. For those of you who do not know, my man Brody here, he is the smartest boy in the fucking world, isn't he? He knows how to tie his shoes, he knows how to wipe his own ass. Well, well not yet, but he's getting there. <laughs> Buddy, it's bedtime. It's nine, almost 9.30, okay? Me. Do you want to take my picture of me? Do you want to take my picture? Okay, again, you guys don't have to watch yourself. Let's watch it. Let's go. Hey, what's this? This is a triangle. Look, look. Triangle. Triangle. Triangle, get that try get eat that goddamn triangle. Uh. I'm gonna cut this off. I gotta put these boys to bed, change them and shit. Uh, but again, hey man. Tremont benefit show was the shit. 
and I wish I could talk more, but uh, <laughs> this is my support, man. Your boys, your family. Look at me with two little boys. Who'd have thought? Look how handsome I am. How handsome I am. I am my handsome. Am I handsome? Hey! Whoa! I'm handsome! I'm handsome! I'm handsome! Alright, let's go. End it, buddy. End it. Tell him, say, Get the fuck out of my face. I learned how to walk and shit. I don't give a fuck. Deuces! We're going to bed now. Hey, Pharrell. I wrote a new hit. We're going to bed now. We're going to bed now. Hey, Brody, I'll be back for you. What you doing over there? He's behind the chair. He don't give a fuck. He begin to bang, bang. Let's go to bed. Hey, you, it's your turn. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed now. Let's go to bed. Can't you show me the Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Say good night to everybody. Okay, we go bed. You smell. You smell fresh. Let's put your arms up. Can we go to bed now? We go to bed. He's got to watch the credits after every movie. We got to finish the credits. We got to fucking finish the credits. But he got to go to bed though, because we're going to be up early. We got to um, sleep in the morning. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Can you tell everybody goodbye? No, we gotta end it for real this time. Okay, can you do this? Can you just say everybody? Say everybody, I love you, I am Brody, and I am awesome. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. It works for me. He said, I'm really, it means I am Brody and I am awesome. When he says, I'm I am Brody, I am awesome. Brody, I am awesome. Okay. And tell him everybody. Say bye bye. Yeah. yeah. He does not want to go to bed. He's like grabbing my throat. <laughs> Why you gotta go, buddy? It's 9:30. Oh no, it's 9:30. Oh no. Babysit him, boo boo. He'll babysit you. She's gonna babysit you. Says there, buddy. It's almost 10. You gotta go to bed. Take your picture, get the creature, we want to rob your belly. I tried to put him down so you go get a creature, he didn't want to. Alright, it's going to be dark. Tell me everybody I love you. Are you eating your strings or my strings? One day you'll be a professional wrestling or you'll just be a fan like daddy. We love it, it's fun. I love you buddy. You gotta go to sleep though, it's literally way past your bedtime. Do 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 He's dragging his Mickey on him. Here, you want Mickey with you? Big Mickey? Oh, you get Big Mickey. Yeah, Big Mickey. Going to Disneyland like DJ Hyde and shit. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah, I know. Okay, I love you. Good night. Here we go. We gonna cut it off. Sweet dreams, baby boy. I love you.
you, but hey, here's a stinky sock and some underwear. I love you. Good night. Good night. Here, you gotta wear that. This is dirty on these pins. You trust me here? Look at this. Look, I can literally just go bam and just push you down. You'll be dead. But I wouldn't do that. I love you. I adopted you. You're my favorite sweetie. Hey. Oh, he's gone.